Afia, there's been such a debate about racial injustice, particularly in America, but also here. Does that make Black History Month more significant than usual? Oh, absolutely. This year's Black History Month is bittersweet, to say the least, because we have had such a year where... Um, even though Black Lives Matter has been a movement that's been enforced since around 2012, 2013, I think in 2020, it's been a year where people have really taken up the cause more so than ever before. I don't think that's just because we saw the horrendous killings of Breonna Taylor, George Floyd, Ahmaud Aubrey, and others. I think it's also partly because of the pandemic and dissatisfaction across the board, and people really took up the mantle. However, people did take up that mantle. So it means that this Black History Month is more pertinent and more important mm -hmm. than it's ever been. Previously, it's been, you know, sort of accused of being virtual sig virtue signaling in some way, but it is so important. Okay. Um, Mara, this year will be different, I'm sure, because of COVID, but what's happening as part of Black History Month in Scotland? I mean, Black History Month in Scotland has been going since 2001, and there's always this amazing program. It, it really There's a, a whole range of lunchtime talks, for example, that come from the Abate Historical Society. Uh, the different universities come together. Um, the Coalition for Racial Equality and Rights have got this wonderful program. Um, there's also film screenings. So, for example, there's a um, Marlon Riggs, which is a, a 1989 film that is also challenging the perceptions of, um, of race and sexuality. Uh, there are performances, um, storytelling, poets, spoken word. Um, it's, it's also different ways of challenging the stereotypes. So, for example, this year there's a really exciting uh, program where we're looking at the black cowgirls and cowboys of the Americas, which we would never normally mm -hmm. associate um, with people of color. So uh -huh. there's, a, there's a huge amount of stuff going on. And also looking at the different connections um, with Scotland. For example, Frederick Douglass, when he came to Scotland, um, there's talks and discussions mm -hmm. about the work that he did. Um, Afia, what do you want people to take from Black History Month? I think so many things. First of all, the significance and the impact that black people have had in Britain, that we are part of this island culture of the United Kingdom, have been here for a long time, since the 1800s, if not before. And the impact that we have had in Britain culturally, intellectually, and all across the board. I also would love people to find out things about black history that they didn't know before, about people that, I, like I said, were here in the 1800s. And it needs to be beyond slavery. I think a lot of the time when we talk about black history, we talk about slavery, but it's not just about that. I think more than ever, it's so important that black history, which is United Kingdom history and Great Britain history, is taught in schools up and down the country, not just in, in October, because I'm black 12 months of the year, not just in October, right? So people can find out about the history this month, but carry that through all the way through the year, find out about people and things they didn't know about before, and also realize that we are ingrained in United Kingdom culture and history. And Mara, will this help combat racism? I hope that it will. I think that we're we're at a, a turning point right now. I think education is such an important uh, way of tackling, of eradicating racism. There's not a single country in the entire world where black lives are not on the lowest rungs of the ladder. And Scotland has got a chance now to really focus on educating people and beginning to 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 carry to have a conversation a genuine honest conversation so it's really important that people engage with that if there is some if there is um, a significant change that's going to be carried into the future i mean scotland's an amazing country but we have to stop looking at black history as something that happened in the past it's how how does the how does history affect where we are now and how does it affect the kind of society that we want to be in the future and Afia, how do you get awareness of Black History Month and all that entails to cut through to, to everyone and beyond the BAME community? Or is that a problem, do you think? I think sometimes that can be an issue that people think that Black History Month, or because of the name, first of all, is not for them. But like I said, it's about getting people to realise that this is about United Kingdom history. And um, it is about our past and our present and about our future, about how we go forward. If we're really going to be serious about um, racial justice, if we're really going to be serious about equality, diversity and representation, then we need to 
take action. It's not just about posting black squares. It's not just about posting slogans on Facebook or Instagram. And it's not just about going on marches. It's about realizing what it is to be a black person, about the struggles that black people have faced, but also about the tremendous joy of being black, about our great culture, our amazing history, and how that is part of United Kingdom history. And that doesn't need to alienate anybody. It is for everyone and everyone can get involved and enjoy. Mm -hmm. And uh, Mara, very briefly, but it's about celebrating as well. Absolutely. Um, there is so much to celebrate. I mean, even if we look at the, the sort of, you know, the worst parts of our history, there has always been incredible stories of resilience, of courage, of um, of action. And, and those are the kinds of stories that really need to be told. Because when we hear, as, as Afwad said earlier, when we hear stories about slavery, it really makes it, it puts pe mm -hmm. black people into the slave box. And we're not just that. We, yeah. we never have been. We yeah. were enslaved people, but we are so much more. So, oh, okay. yes. Oh, well, listen, uh, Mara and Afia, thank you both very much indeed for joining us this evening.